What is going on guys? I'm CK and welcome back to everything Overwatch League. Today I'm going to be going over my predictions for week 2 of Overwatch League and I want all of you guys to let me know in the comments what you think will happen for each of the matches as well. So I'm not going to go too in depth. A quick video is a good video. I'm just going to go over each one of the matches, what I think the result will be and the big matches that you can't miss. And just before I get into it, I don't dislike any team. This is purely just what I think will happen based on the team's performances. I love every team. I just want to see the best Overwatch played. So first up, the San Francisco Shock against the Philadelphia Fusion. Now I definitely think Fusion are the stronger team, but I think Shock can take a map. So I'm going with 3-1 to the Fusion. Next is the Florida Mayhem against the Seoul Dynasty. And sorry Mayhem fans, but I don't think there's a lot of hope in this one. I'm going with 4-0 for the Dynasty. And rounding out day one is the Houston Outlaws against the Shanghai Dragons. And I also think this will be some more 4 Overwatch. 4-0 to the Houston Outlaws. So although in my opinion, day one's matches won't be incredibly close, day two is unbelievable for close matchups. So starting off is the Dallas Fuel against the Houston Outlaws. And I can't stress how big this match is for both of these teams. They both have so much to prove. I think that it'll be a 3-1 to Fuel in the end actually. But it'll be an incredibly exciting match. Don't miss it. And straight after this is another blockbuster matchup. The New York Excelsior against the Los Angeles Valiant. And these are two teams at the moment who haven't lost a game. Look pretty sharp. It'll be really, really interesting to see who comes out with the win here. Don't miss this one. Both teams also have a lot to prove in this matchup. I think this one will be 3-2 to NYXL in the end. And rounding out the day is the Philadelphia Fusion against the Los Angeles Gladiators. This is an absolutely enormous matchup for both of these teams once again. What a day two. I think this one will probably go 3-2 in the favor of the Fusion, but it's going to be a close one. Starting day three off, we have the Seoul Dynasty against the Boston Uprising. Now, I don't think the Boston Uprising are a bad team by any means, but I do think this will be 4-0 to Seoul Dynasty again. I just don't see how they could lose a map. And then we have a gargantuan matchup, the Shanghai Dragons against the Florida Mayhem. Now, these are two of the teams probably at the bottom of the ladder at the moment, but it's actually going to be a huge matchup for both of the teams. They're both going to have a lot to prove. They're both looking for their first win. <laughs> Don't miss this one. It's going to be big. I think the Mayhem are probably favorites, but I'm actually going to go with 3-2 to the Shanghai Dragons. I just feel like they've been getting better, and it's going to be an absolute nail-biter. I can't wait to watch this one, honestly. And the last match of Day 3 is a huge matchup again, the London Spitfire against the Dallas Fuel. Now, this will be interesting, because if the Dallas Fuel play really well against the Outlaws, I definitely think they're a chance to take this one. Who knows what could happen? I'm going to go... 3-1 to the London Spitfire, but there's definitely a possibility that the Fuel could take this. Don't miss this match for sure. And then on day four, the London Spitfire are playing again, this time against the LA Valiant. And this is pretty much the same case as the Dallas Fuel. It depends how they go against their match with NYXL earlier in the week. The Valiant are a chance, but I do think the London Spitfire will take this. I'm going with 4-0 to the Spitfire in this one. And then we have the LA Gladiators against NYXL for the second last match of the week. I think the Gladiators are a, uh, are a chance. I think they can take a map. So I'm going with 3-1 to the NYXL for this one. And then our last match of the week is actually a good one in my opinion. The Boston Uprising against their San Francisco Shock. Now the Shock definitely are the underdogs here I think. They have a lot to prove. I think Boston will just get the better of them, but it'll be 3-2 going to a map 5. So finally, all of the matches that you don't want to miss this week. Starting off, actually, every single match on day 2. So 
the Dallas Fuel against the Houston Outlaws, NYXL versus LA Valiant, and the Fusion versus the Gladiators. That is going to be an absolutely huge day. And then on day three, the last two matches, Shanghai Dragons against Florida Mayhem and the London Spitfire against the Dallas Fuel. And finally, on the last day, the uh, Boston Uprising versus San Francisco Shock is going to be a big one. And the Valiant versus Spitfire is also potentially going to be a really good one. Guys, I don't know about you, but I just absolutely can't wait to see another week of Overwatch League. I loved every single minute of week one. There was dramas, there was building rivalries, there was all sorts of things. I think Overwatch League turned out to be super successful for week one anyway. I'm so excited to see more of it. I really hope that it continues to thrive. And just before I go, guys, I wanted to quickly say the Overwatch League themselves actually do some really good videos in between weeks. So they, they call it Watchpoint, and they have like the week in review video, which this week went for about 45 minutes, but it wasn't boring at all. I actually sat down, watched the whole thing in one go this morning, and I was super entertained. And then they just released the a preview of week two video and they're all just all the boys you know you know who they are just sitting down just having a bit of fun enjoying life and talking about the matches to come the matches that we saw everything there's a lot of fun segments go and watch that for sure i'll leave a link to those in the description and that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed uh, if you're not already a part of the family here at Everything OWL, be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any Overwatch League news. And you can also join my Discord. It's a really nice community. You can watch the Overwatch League matches live with people. You can choose your favorite team. There's a lot of other cool features, a lot of nice people to meet. Go join that right now. It's links in the description. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you're all just as excited as me to watch week two of Overwatch League. I can hardly contain myself. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Overwatch League week two, day one review. Until next time, remember, the world could always use more heroes. <laughs>